Hi guys, today I'm here to do my review of the Angry Video Game Nerd movie. Um, now, the Angry Video Game Nerd movie is based on a YouTube show called The Angry Video Game Nerd. And I had huge for, hopes for this movie. And it has lots of humor from the show. And if you don't know um, the YouTube show Angry Video Game Nerd, you are not going to understand this film. And that's one of the problems that I have. Um, and But one of the positive things that I have about is that the practical effects in this are amazing. Um, but there has to be some CGI that they have to use. Like for the alien, there were like some shots where one of the actors were like wearing it on his feet. So we had to erase the guy that was popping him, him in CJ and... The people that were controlling the the tentacles of uh, one of the of one of the monsters, they had to race um, them out in CG. Um, but yeah, and I had to give a huge props to James Rolfe, um, the person who plays the nerd, and he was also the writer and the director on this movie. He did an amazing job with this. This movie um, is amazing, but is it amazing to hold its Spider-Man Michael Andrew spot in the ranking system? This is probably the first movie that I have to give a Venom to because I had so much high hopes for this movie. Like, even though I like this movie, it's not one of those uh, Grease or a Deadpool or an action movie. Like, it is an action movie, but there's... A story about rescuing these games and stuff like that, which stuff they has talked about on the series before, but I haven't really watched a lot of his episodes. I watched like the Power Rangers episode, the Tales episode, the Tiger Games episode. Um, I watched like most of the Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers and Batman stuff, but I haven't really watched like the Zelda the Mario ones and stuff like that. So that's the only reason why I would give this movie a Venom. Because I've watched all these episodes of the series. And I know it just didn't really connect with me as much as the episodes did. So I guess it's kind of like how some people feel about the original Adam West Batman movie. Is that like if you showed me an episode I'll be entertained. But if you give me this movie, and I'll, I'll just be bored the entire time. I'll be like, not following the plot or something. But yeah, so guys, please uh, like this video. And hit subscribe so you can help the channel out. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Stranded after driving. Branded a fool. What will they say Monday at school?